Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja, the survival plan for all human plus beings. Chapter 4, The First Test in Regression to Following Satan. Matthew 7.23 and Matthew 25.11, 12, and 41. Matthew 7.22, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, the truth. Matthew 25.11 Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Matthew 25.41 Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels, you that do not do God's will. Why ye call me Lord, Lord, and do not do the things that I say? Matthew 7.21 Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Only he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew 25.11 Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. Luke 6.46 And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Luke 13.25 When once the master of the house is risen up, and hath closed the door, and you begin to stand outside, and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, Open unto us, and he shall answer, and say unto you, I know you not, nor where you are from. The people who say that there are many paths to God, and or that theirs is the right one, are all calling God a liar. Revelation 12.9 And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out to the earth, and his angels, you, Luke 9.55, were cast out with him, Matthew 25:41 Matthew 7:15 Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves So you know what's going to happen to them Woe unto those who call good the truth evil lies the fire Isaiah 5:20 Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Matthew 25:41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels, you that do not do God's will. God told Abel and Cain, The only way, and unless you do exactly in minute and exact detail, the way God has told you, you will be rejected just like clever, disobedient Cain was. Abel, in humble, loving trust and obedience, brought his lamb. Cain, in arrogant disobedience, thinking he knew best and could do as he liked, was rejected, even though he brought more than Abel did. Remember, they were, like you are, condemned prisoners and had already been kicked out of the Garden of Eden for disobedience. And unless you do exactly as you are told and learn to be good, you are going to be executed. The word Abel means breath of life. The word Cain means possessions in Hebrew. Cain slew Abel in English. Possessions slew the breath of life. Jesus said in Matthew 6.24, You cannot serve God and mammon, money, materialism, possessions, because if you love one, you will hate the other. Matthew 6.24 No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and materialism. In other words, materialism and selfishness destroy good and spirituality, life, and bring spiritual death, the fire. Human society can never work because it is based on human selfishness. A kingdom or house divided can never stand democracy, politics, parliament, families, and society. Matthew 12.25
And Jesus knew their thoughts, and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. If you have one hundred people, and you are one of them, and every one is out for their self, you can have nothing but violence and war, with the strong victimizing and oppressing the weak, the rich doing the same to the poor, and the clever doing likewise to the not so clever. If, however, you have the same one hundred people, and you are one of them, and every single one of them puts everybody else first, and his or herself second, then every single person, including you, gains ninety-nine times. It will only work if every single person does it. Otherwise, the one who doesn't steals everything from the others. Sound familiar? One bad apple ruins the whole barrel. So far, it has never been realized by man, and there has never been peace on earth.